Alright guys, welcome back to the channel guys, it is me 80s from before today guys, today guys will be looking into La Liga guys and seeing which teams could, which, how La Liga is looking like. Remember guys, I did a predictions video earlier this season, um, predicting the, the whole entire thing, you know, not the entire thing, but of course the top four and you know, relegation and all that good stuff, so of course I will be leaving a link below in the description below for you guys to check that out. And today, guys, I want to talk to you guys about how the La Liga title race is looking like. And, of course, we'll also look at the teams that are also in relegation. But, of course, the main focus of this video will be upon the title race itself, which teams will be in contention to win La Liga. And, of course, I did make a precursor. I did say in a previous video that I really do believe these two teams are going to compete. And let's go ahead and get on to it. So let's go look at the La Liga table right now standings. As you can see right here, guys, Real Sociedad are currently top of the table with nine games played. Six wins, two draws, and one loss. 20 points. Now, they have played a game more than Real Madrid and Sevilla and Atletico Madrid and Barcelona. So, you got to keep in mind that this is still very early. However, as things before, as I said, it's going to be quite interesting. Obviously, you guys see Barcelona is currently seventh right now in La Liga. And let's discuss, guys. Let's discuss. Um, For me, guys, I have to say that... Um, Let's go look at the relegation real quick, just just to, just for our and and just for reference sake. The Levante, Alaves, and Getafe have been the three worst teams in Spain, which is interesting. Getafe bottom with two draws, seven losses. Alaves with one win, seven losses, and Levante with no wins, five draws, four losses. So that is very very bad on these three teams. You know, of course, Barcelona have beaten two of those bottom teams, so. Yeah, um, for me, guys, I have to say that um, the title race, it has to be a Madrid race. Now, even though I did, I don't think Barca will be in contention for La Liga. I still do believe that Barca could maybe push for a La Liga challenge. But here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. They have to be consistent, right? Because we saw what happened last season. We saw how bad Barca were. It took them a while to get into the race. And they eventually did get into the race because of Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid fumbling. Midway, um, Atletico Madrid fumbling in the midway through the season. So I do believe that Barca still could theoretically still be in the title challenge. But as I said, it's difficult to really see a title challenge, especially with Ronald Koeman at the helm. And there's a lot of uncertainty, a lot of un, a lot of trust issues with him. And I just don't really know about um, Barcelona. Barcelona, to me, it's a bit of a tough call. Of course, you guys know it is my team. And I don't know, guys. I really don't know. I, I don't think we could win La Liga with Kuman in charge. Now, if you have a different manager here, then maybe possibly. But for right now, with Kuman, I don't see it. I, I really don't see it. And for me, Barcelona, they continue to underperform in the big games. Even and even against teams they should be beating, they have been somewhat underwhelming. I just don't think Barca could really mount that title challenge. I don't think they'll be as consistent as they were last season. Remember, guys, we are trying to rebound from the disastrous uh, uh re trying to rebound from that and of course you know Ansu Fadi for me will be hugely important they got Aguero to pie you know I don't want to make too much about I don't want to really want to talk too much about Barcelona but I do just want to mention that as far as Sevilla are concerned Sevilla have done pretty well in the league they got five wins two draws one lo loss and they've actually done quite decent 11 goals scored six goals conceded um but the thing with oh but the, oh sorry I was looking at the um Athletic Madrid's record it's 11 goals three goals yeah okay the thing about Sevilla is this. I just don't think they have the squad depth. They don't have the squad depth near what Atletico Madrid and Real Madrid have and even what Barcelona have, and hence the reason why I just don't really think they can do it. Of course, I do respect Julian Lopez Tegri and the work he's done, um, but I think it's going to be interesting. So now we have the two teams that I think is going to compete for the top. Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid. Now, for me, I think this will be very interesting because for me, these two teams are the best teams in Spain. Real Madrid under Carlo Ancelotti, they've done fantastic. They've done really, really well. Under um, Ancelotti, you know, Vinicius has been really, really good. He's been scoring a lot of goals for them in a consistent base. You look at the victory they had against Shakhtar Donetsk. I know they had a blimp against Espanyol and Sheriff, um, but I feel like those two games were somewhat one-offs. And then they had a draw against Villarreal, one against Mallorca, six goals to one convincingly. Got a comeback win against Valencia, won one nil away against Inter Milan, won 5-2 against Celta Vigo, won one nil away against Real Betis. You got a 3-3 draw against Levante, and they did beat Alaves four goals to one. You could see right there. So I just think that for me, Real Madrid, the thing about this team that's looking really good for them is the fact of the players they've had. Benzema has been really good. Vinicius has been good. I look at players like Rodrigo has been good. Um, Kamavinga has been really good as well. I've been really impressed with him. And Courtois, of course, we know how good he is. And, of course, you guys know this is one of my rival teams. Of course, we know 
Barcelona do not like Real Madrid, of course. But even I have to admit, and being honest here, being objective here, they have been really good. They have been solid. Though my one concern with Real Madrid is this. My primary concern is with this. And my biggest issue I have with Real Madrid isn't the attack. It's the defense. It's the defense. I'm sorry. I just don't think Alaba is great as a center back. I just don't think Alaba works as a center back. For me, he's better as a left back. And that's the problem is that when you have injuries to Eder Militao, Nacho Fernandez, you're having to play Alaba there, which I think could be very much a huge downgrade. Then you have to play Valho, who is not good in the um, the um, Olympics against Brazil. And so it's going to be quite interesting to see how Real Madrid defense do this season. Of course, I'm looking at Eder Militao, Nacho. I do think Nacho and Eder Militao can do a great center back partnership. I do think it's a decent partnership back. Obviously, he's nowhere near close as, obviously, Rafael Varon and Ramos. Obviously, we know that. But I do think it is a good, decent back line. But the question for me is this. Can Real Madrid ensure they don't have a, a plethora of injuries? We saw last season how the abundance of injuries they had last season and how much they really struggled. You know, And even though they had a vast number of injuries, they still managed to compete in all three competitions. They still managed to do fairly decent. You know, you look at the fact the Champions League all the way to the semifinals in which they lost to the eventual winners, Chelsea. And then obviously took the final match day against uh, final match day La Liga, which they only lost via by a point, I think. Or was it two points? I think they lost by two points, actually. Um, Actually, yeah, let me see. Wait, why is it? What? Oh, okay, yeah, two points. They only lost by two points. And you can see how close they have been. And I just think that for me, if Real Madrid can keep a healthy squad for most of the season and keep their defense really in check, and keep the defenders really fit, I think Real Madrid could be the slight La Liga favorites. Because as I said before, I think Ancelotti for me has done a great job with this team. And I think domestically for me, Real Madrid could do wonders. And I just think for me, Real Madrid, they are a very good team. You've got to respect them. Even though they have been struggling a bit in the recent years, obviously we know, I still think they're the team that is the most feared team. Now we move on to Atletico Madrid. Atletico Madrid, guys, they have not been great. They have been somewhat underwhelming. I know they have been picking up wins. Of course, they beat my team in Barcelona. But if you really go look at the results they've had, they have been largely unconvincing. You look at the game against Liverpool, they played really well in that game. They actually played really well. But, of course, guys, I'll save that for another video for the Champions League discussion. Uh, lost to Atletico Madrid, lost to Alaves at home, I mean, at, at away. You know, got a victory against Getafe, nil-nil against Athletic Club. Then they actually won against Espanyol, very unconvincingly. Won against Elche, and then they won two-one. You can see right here they have been, they haven't put out a very dominant performance. Like there's really not been a single dominant performance, with the exception of that Barcelona game. And I just think that for me, Atletico Madrid, they just not been that great. They've been somewhat struggling. They've been somewhat underwhelming. You know, I look at the players like Luis Suarez is having to do the Bergen. He's having to do the carrying. I know Joe Felix is had, uh, doing really well. I know Thomas Lamar has done really well. Of course, Rodrigo De Paul as well. But Griezmann's been really underwhelming. As, as far as La Liga is concerned, I know Griezmann's been good in the Champions League. But as far as La Liga is concerned, he's been really, really bad. He hasn't been great. All block. In the defense of Atletico Madrid has been somewhat questionable. You look at Hermoso, Lodi, Carrasco, Trippier, Herrera, it was like Maria Jimenez, Jan Oblak, Marcos Lorente. I just think that for me, guys, Atletico Madrid, they should win this league title. As I said before, guys, they have the deepest squad. They have the best squad in La Liga. They have the best of both fronts of an attack and the defense. And I just feel like for me, they should realistically win this league title. But, of course, with Simeone in charge, it's a bit of a difficult one to call. Because as I said before, guys, the problem with Atletico Madrid, my biggest problem with them is that they have so much attacking talent up front. And yet they play so defensive for most of the time. And that's the problem is that, as I said before, you can't really play defensive when you have so much attacking talents, you know? And I just feel like for me, the defensive style doesn't uh, suit a lot of these players. Like, I don't think it's going to really suit a Griezmann. We've seen how much of a struggle he's had in La Liga. I know he's been good in the Champions League. Luis Suarez, you know, Jao Felix, Thomas Lamar, you know, Koke, Lorente. Because honestly, when Atletico Madrid have looked good attacking-wise, they do look like a decent team. They look like a good team to watch. But it's just a lot of the times they're having to counterattack. And that I just feel like for me is just it's just very, very, uh, very, very uh, frustrating, especially for the us neutrals here and opposition fans, you know, of course. And I just feel like for me, if you look at this team in particular, if they were so much more attacking. I just feel like for me, they would do a lot better. And I feel like they would probably be first in La Liga right now. So as I said before, guys, it's going to be quite interesting to see how the, uh, the La Liga title race folds. Of course, guys, 
I'm going to hope that Atletico Madrid wins the league, of course, because as I said before, guys, I obviously don't want Bar Real Madrid to win. Ideally, of course, I want my team to win, but obviously I'm very well, much well aware that my team has not really a good chance to win the league. Let's be all realistic there. So I want you guys to comment up what your guys' thoughts in La Liga um, and so forth, and as well as which team you guys think is going to be the La Liga favorites. You can look at stats right here. So yeah, you can see Benzema has been rocking with nine goals. Real about with six goals. Vinicius Jr. with five goals. Adon and Joma with four goals. Luis Suarez with four goals. Depay is with four. And Ronaldo Thomas with four goals. You can see Benzema has also had seven assists. Benzema has been amazing. He is the best player in La Liga, in my opinion. And yeah, guys. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. So I hope you guys do enjoy the video, guys. Remember, guys, to comment, subscribe. Check out my description below, my Twitter, Discord, and my email, and my other platforms. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.